painting with the back of the brush. Why not? No, you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's wash this off. Look how messy that is. And then let's get some red again. But this time we're going to play with that red and a little bit of purple. Okay. Let's get some red again. I hope you don't get dizzy with this. And a little bit of purple. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna let it fall, baby. Okay. And I'm gonna get some more red. Okay, and I'm gonna put it right in the beginning. Now check it out. I'm gonna get my palette knife. There we go. That's it, baby. <laughs> That's it, right there. Now let's get a little bit more of the palette knife with a little bit of green. That's the cool thing about this world, right? They don't mean anything, but, but, but they're so full of life. It's, uh, it's oil. All, all, the, whole thing, the, whole, the whole thing here is oil. I got some uh, soft mixing white, phthalo blue, viridian hue, pale yellow. Okay, this is hue. Cad yellow, a cad red, dioxan purple, and magenta. And then this is a mix that I did. This is not magenta over here. This is magenta, but this right here is a mixture of uh, cobalt violet with red. And and these are some of the 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 the, the colors that I like to mix uh, from time to time. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Where would I use that? You you may ask. Where would I use that cobalt cobalt violet with red? I'd use it right here. Look, bam. Yeah, there it is. I like I like how there's lots of red right here, and there's really hardly any red except for the for the lights and the automobile there. It makes it really it makes it really interesting. You know, it, it's 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 a it's a different it's a different deal. This is in, uh, it's not really so much about composition. This is about visual weight. And I'm going to do a class. I'm going to do a free class on visual weight. Okay? I'm going to do a free class on visual weight for you guys. Uh, those of you who are, who are, have signed up to my, to my free courses, to my uh, online academy, I'm going to be doing a class on visual weight. Why is there a little bit of light here and so much light over there? I'm trying to create weight. I'm playing with space, and I'm trying to create weight using color. Visual weight is not just about volume, but it's also about color. So it's a very interesting little thing. How long does it take to dry there since you immediately available on eBay? Yeah, I put them available on eBay right away, but I already, I've been doing this for, for lots of, I mean, a few years now. And so... I already I already know how to do certain things. Plus, I have a I have drying rooms for them. Uh, right now, I have one drying room. I used to have two drying rooms, but I only I only need one drying room for them in my studio. Uh, as you can see here, you're 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 in my studio. There's a drying room over there, and right there, that's a that's a dehumidifier that I have or a, a, a ventilator, and that that speeds the process. Air speeds the process of the drying time. Okay, so. It takes about two to three weeks at most to ship a painting. Two to three weeks before it's dry. Sometimes, sometimes they're a little tacky, right? They're not fully dry, uh, but that that is the risk I'm willing to take in order to send the artwork. Uh, and I do, I do let buyers know. You know, some buyers know, some buyers uh, uh, they're not expecting it, but it's but it's written there. I, I I like to let buyers know because oil paint really takes about six months to cure. So it's going to feel, if, if you scratch on it, it doesn't matter if it's dry on the surface. If you scratch on it, you're probably going to get paint on yourself. So I know some people scratch on it. Some people, you know, I mean, because it's theirs. They're curious about it, right? They scratch on the sides. They want to, they want to feel it. So they peel off some of the skin 
and then they get paint on their hands and then they're like, oh my God, this is not dry. No, it's not gonna be dry for another six months. It's oil. I mean, fully cured, right? It's gonna be dry, but it's not gonna be cured. So that is the beauty of oil. It, 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 it really, it really, uh, it, it takes a, it takes a while to fully dry, to fully cure, but, but that, I mean, that's part of it. I signed up to it, you know. <laughs> Guys, this painting will be available on eBay today. The auction's going to start at 99 cents. No, I don't varnish. Uh, I do varnish oil paintings, but not the ones that I sell immediately because, of course, uh, in, before I varnish them, uh, I keep them in my studio for about six months, four to six months. I don't like to varnish them before. And I have a thing against varnishing, really, right now. Uh, even though some, some varnishes uh, uh, claim that they're not going to yellow, uh, they, they, they do yellow over the years, you know, whether you use Damar or whatever, whatever type of varnish, they do yellow. And uh, I'll, I'll leave that to the museums. <laughs> I, like, I like to just leave the painting. You know, because besides, I use walnut oil, okay? So the painting, the way that it dries, it already has a film, a very clear film of walnut oil. Because it's, it's the thing that I'm using to mix and wash my... I mean, I use it for everything. I use it to mix the paint, wash my brushes, and, and, and even to soft the paint as well before I start mixing. So I use walnut oil for everything. Not only, not only it's, uh, it's organic, of course, it's, 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 it doesn't smell. It's a beautiful thing to paint in an environment that it's not affecting my sinuses or, or you know, that it just it feels wonderful. It's like painting with heavy, very heavy body acrylic. Um, I get to enjoy it like that. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Look, let's, let's give it some distance. Ooh la la, look at that. Let's give it some distance. Isn't it cool? I'm telling you guys, I'm onto something. Take care. I will talk to you soon. And uh, remember, this painting is available on my eBay shop. Go check it out. Click the link in the profile. And uh, yeah, get a chance. Get a chance to get it. A lot of people get them for ridiculously, ridiculously low prices. It's just uh, it's the game of, of the auction, right? And and some people really just you know they 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 really honor. Uh, not just the art, the artist, and they want to pay a little bit more. I, I always, I always respect and admire that, and I'm very thankful. And I mean, there's room for everyone. All right. So take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.